Hey guys, Matt here. The date is Monday, the 7th of May, 2012, and that means it is time for another RuneScape video log. So, um, I had planned for this week to do some steel and creation for some sacred clay hammers so I could level some construction and do some dungeoneering, but you know how Murphy's Law works. If something can go wrong, it will go wrong. And not that it went wrong, it was actually a good update. The rune span came out. You can see my counter up here. It's got 1.66... 594 mil XP, and I also got some agility XP, but the um, rune crafting XP was just from the rune span, and I got four level up, so I'm level 90 rune crafting now, which is pretty crazy. I never thought that rune crafting would be that high when I, I don't know, I, I just didn't think I'd get that good rune crafting. This agility XP I think is from the Varrock Elite tasks. I also did these, but I didn't reset this counter to agility in time to get this one because I was I didn't know whether I was going to do them both but I did them both um, the reason I hadn't done them I, I had pretty much the skill requirements I had to stew up like two or three I think it was three smithing levels or I would have used a dwarven stout but I had to do some quests so I, I got in and did these quests I'll bring up my adventurers log here and well, let's see this week rune span came out and then I got um, three three rune crafting levels did Gunner's Ground, just because, you know, it was a free-to-play quest, and I thought, you know, I'll just do this, because... And it was a good piece of content, I guess. It was a short, nice, quick, good quest, the way that we like them. And then I did Mountain Daughter. Um, I had to do that so I could do Glorious Memories for... I think... I th one of these was for Kudos. And then Glorious Memories... I think Glorious Memories for, was for the Kudos, for the Varrock Museum. So I could get the... The Varrock Armor for... Because um, I need 153 kudos, um, and um, then I did a tailor two cats for another few kudos. That was just with Bob the cat, and it was a bit, it was okay of a quest. It wasn't so bad. I got that agility level from doing those two two task sets, um, and then I did myths of the white lands, clock tower, and let them eat pie with one of with um, James from something RS. Uh, it seems I got. 700 music tracks, and then I got 90 rune crafting again. Like I got another rune crafting level to 90. So it's been a fairly productive week. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. You know, seven quests down, four rune crafting levels, an agility level, two of these elite um, task rewards, which is fairly cool. Uh, let's just have a look at here. The only tasks that I haven't done are the Mauritania, the Fremenic, and the Karamaja. So um, I'm gonna have to do those three task sets to get the last three pieces of um, the gear and the XP lamps which is what we're after and then I just did some stealing creation before and got these hammers so that leads me to this let's just reset these counters I'll reset this one to zero for this week and counter two is going to be construction and we're going to do this this week hell or high water I'm going to do some stealing creation and we're going to get this construction up Optimistically, 90 would be fantastic, but I don't know how long that would take in hours. You wouldn't think so long, but you never know. So, if we get 90, that'll knock off another 90. And my actual goal is to get 90 plus all my stats, because the only things I have left is like mining, smithing, fishing, construction, and crafting. And then I'll have everything 90 plus. Oh, and farming. So, I'm, I'm only a couple of skills away, and most of them are viables. The only ones there that aren't viables are like um, mining and fishing. So that leads me to counter 3. I'm really close to 90, 90 fishing. I've got like one level to go, so 480k XP. I think I can do that this week. I, I can ha I can handle that, so reset this counter to fishing. And that's my goals this week. And hell or high water, we are at least doing construction, because I've been putting it off for like the last three weeks. I've always had it in my goals, and I haven't done it yet, and this week we are definitely going to do it. So that's going to be good. Don't forget to leave in the comments below what you have planned for this week, and what you got done last week, and just let me know what you think of RuneSpan and how much XP you've got in your RuneCrafting since it came out because it seems pretty fast but it's actually not that fast it's between 50 and 100k an hour and it varies depending on what you're actually doing in the RuneSpan but the reason everyone seems to be leveling RuneCrafting like really quickly I think is because it's like a bit more enjoyable and semi AFK you click on the nodes and then you can go on YouTube and Facebook for like five minutes before you've got to click again before you log out and then just go find another node and it's pretty easy with a whole heap of people because you just look for the big group of people and it's it's pretty good. It's much better than having to strenuously run around to the ZMI and bank and then run around and and I think that's why people are enjoying RuneCrafting. 
anyway, I'll um, see you guys next time. Have a good week.